Hello everyone, topic for today's discussion is try, catch and finally statement in JavaScript. Try, catch and finally blocks are used to handle exceptions uh, which is a type of an error. Error in a programming occurs due to two reasons, syntax error and runtime error. Syntax error is like, um, let me give you an example. If the spelling of console is C-O-N-S-O-L-E and mistakenly we have written C-O-N-S-O-L, then this is considered as syntax error. On the other hand, runtime error occurs during the execution of the program and errors that occurs during runtime are called exceptions. Try and catch a statement is used to handle exceptions. Try and catch a statement is used to handle exception. Main code is written inside try block and if any error occurs, it goes to catch block. Whereas catch block handles the error as per the catch statement and if no error occurs, the code inside the try block is executed and the catch block is skipped. Let's see all this with an example. So let me uh, delete this first. And here let's declare a variable. Uh, so I'm taking the variable name as uh, a and I'm assigning value. Let's suppose 10 to it. Now let's uh, write the try block. And here let's um, write the main uh, code. So I want to um, print the value of a so for that uh, let me log this here I'm logging it like console.org and the variable name as a now let's give the body of uh, this catch block and here let's write uh, error and um, here let's write an error message if any error occurs so console.log and Error is what? Now let's write the error message. Reference error. Now let's try to run this. For that, let me write node and then the file name that is try catch.js. So try catch.js. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output is 10 because there is no error. Now let's make an error in this code. Uh, here comment this first line where we have declared uh, the value of this variable as 10. Sorry, let me correct this spelling. Okay, now we can clearly see that uh, this A will create, will going to create an error. Let's see how it is being handled. So on clicking the enter button, we can see the output as um, since this variable a is not defined, so an error is caught and the error message is reference is given a is not defined. So uh, the error is being handled with this catch block. Now let's see try, catch and finally statement. Finally, block executes both when code runs successfully or even if an error message occurs. So, I'm going to use this code only and here I'm going to give the finally block. So, let me use finally and then the body over here. So, let me write console.log. So, here I'm going to write execute both when the code runs successfully or even an error occurs and now let's see the output here um, since error is occurred so it been handled with this catch block and this finally will execute both when the code runs successfully or even an error occurs so here uh, this finally block gets executed and if we don't create any error or the program will not create any error then also this um, finally block gets executed. 
So this is all about try, catch and finally statement in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.